Hi, John Baker here from Rotac Repair. Today I have a customer's 912IS fuel pump assembly. The issue with it is the bolts are all different sizes. This one is loose and flopping around in there. Now I've previously, to start in the video, split this nut to take it off and uh, it was kind of fun because it let, let me use a tool that I haven't used for a long time. It's a really old school tool. And uh, well, let me take the cover off of this here. And of course I've put a piece of tubing here to keep any debris out of the pump assembly. So as this is loose, it's gonna be pretty hard to put it back onto this bracket that belongs on the airframe. So what I did with it was, as I said, I used that tool. Just let me split this a little more and get this off. And uh, there we go. So we can get it off now. It's going to fight a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. So that's basically what it looks like when it comes off. This tool actually cuts into the into the nut and splits it. But of course, we're left with this loose floppy, and of course, and it's bent as well. Um, bolt. So the project here is not to buy a new fuel pump assembly. They're welded inside and where are we here? Oh, the light's not that good right here, but right in here it's actually tack welded on so that when you put the nut on the other side the bolt doesn't go around and around. So this one here, there we get that one out and you can see where it was well, you can barely see it, but there's a little teeny tack right there, which is why this one broke off. It didn't really have much weld on it. However, if it had had the right nut on it, or the nut had it turned with fingers instead of with a huge wrench, maybe things would have been different. So this was discovered when this uh, fella had bought this airplane. So this is from the previous aircraft owner. Uh, I don't know whether he's put on... This is a metric fuel pump assembly, so it should have had metric bolts go on it, and maybe it had quarter inch fine bolts on it. I have no idea what was on it. Anyway, doesn't matter. Got to fix it now. So let's have a look and see how this tool works. So this tool is a really old school tool that I used to use a long time ago fixing cars. And what it is, is you hold the outside of it and you turn it and, and as you can see the chisel part comes out. So I had to modify it a little bit because on that side it won't go far enough. So I had to modify it so it'll go all the way. I mean, I can't just go and take like some kind of grinder or something and grind these off. Although, if it was a car, that's probably what you would do. But on an airplane, on an airplane we don't do these things like that. So it's a very expensive piece of equipment and it has to be treated properly. If it takes a little longer to do it, so be it. So I'm holding the body with the big wrench and now we just use some old fashioned twisting here. And as you can see it's cutting its way through the nut and it's getting tighter now because it's cutting and pushing more so we get two hands on it here. And it will cut it right in half, or split it, because the name of this tool is, go figure, it's a nut splitter. I don't even know if you can buy any of these things anymore. It seems like nobody really fixes too much stuff anymore, so there we go. Now, no, it didn't go far enough, so back at it again. Reset it. This would be just like using a same result as using a hammer and chisel to, uh, to do that. So I just give it a little tap again to make it let go. There we go. And yes, that was pretty good. That turned out pretty good. Now let's find out if now we can actually turn it. Yes, it's going to turn a little bit. So now I want to get to the other side or Maybe now that it actually turns, maybe I'll be lucky enough to 
make it thread off, but it's not looking like it. Nope. Oh, okay. Okay, here we are. We're set up again. We're on the the uh, opposite side. Uh, you can see the cut in there where I just finished the first cut on the other side. So let's do the same thing again. It took me a while to find this tool. I figured that it was gone years ago. But I had put it away. Whoops, and saved it. Okay, let's undo that. Sorry for the uh, motion sickness there. I've got the camera in front of me on the stand and uh, I keep bumping into it. There we go release it. All right. And I'm just going to try some side cutters on here just to jiggle it around a bit. And you can see, look at that. Is that cool or what? What a good way to take a nut off. So again, it's a really old school tool. This is what it looks like. And it's called a nut splitter. Now we should expect that I can get this out of the box now. Because... Uh, there we go. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so put the box aside. Now that we freed the fuel pump from its box, now we need to figure out now how are we going to cut those welds and get those bolts out of there. With the fuel pumps on here, no, we're not going to do that at all. We're going to separate this plate from the fuel pumps. And what I'm going to do kind of old school I usually take a lot of pictures but on this one here I think I'm just going to go inside here with a marker and I'm going to mark exact positioning through the little windows here so that when it goes back together it's in exactly the same place and because the bracket looks quite oh that that slot is a little bit longer but you know what I'm going to do just for simple reference here I'm just going to mark here and here and we'll match those letters up just to be sure these windows are this one those longer than that one etc etc but why not I got the marker in my hand let's mark it and make it simple for after so as you can see I've marked beside those clamps as well for positioning I'm using the pliers and twisting it uh, very gently because I don't want to put a dent or do any damage to the fuel pumps I was a little bit uh, hesitant to cut them, so I thought I would just try and loosen them and then, um, as you see, flick it open, unlatch it with the little screwdriver, and now I can figure out how to position it all to get them off without applying any pressure to the fuel pumps at all. So this is pretty close, but uh, no, I'm going to put it over top right there. And I'll uh, spread them a little bit as you can see and then off comes the uh, the bracket from the uh, from the fuel pumps themselves so now I'm safe I can take this away and I can uh, do some work on it grind those welds off and uh, prep it to weld the new bolts in so as you can see the old mutilated bolts are all out this bent strip one, that one is stripped. That was the best one of the bunch. Uh, this one, I think they sawed that one off to get it off the aircraft. So uh, I imagine uh, the, uh, the fella had a heck of a time getting this thing out from wherever it was. Anyway, we're going to carry on and put some new bolts in it and put it back together. So as you can see, I reassembled the inner assembly. I've matched up all of my witness marks. I've got the new bolts installed. They're um, spotted in, spot welded in, and reclamped. And we're ready to put it back in the box. And it's ready to go back on the airplane. So in the box it goes. We get our wires. 
protection with the little grommets lined up and set that back in and put a couple of nuts on it to hold it together while I put the lid back on and uh, you know what let's just put four of them on and then we're done all right oh don't they go on nicer than the original ones I'll bet they were pretty tough to get on they probably fought every bit of the way okay and we'll fit our lid back on and last double check everything looks fine and yes happy with that so now it's ready to go back on the aircraft I'll tighten all of these bolts up properly and it's ready to go back into service thanks for watching so if you enjoyed the video then please subscribe to my channel and push the notification button because you never know when I'm gonna put something else on there anyway thanks for watching bye now